Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, and with me in the studio today is Star Osborne, founder and CEO of Tailored Transitions. Star, welcome to the program today. Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. And I love that uh, we're in complementary <laughs> colors. I mean, it's all about design, and so this is wonderful. Yeah, it's a power and color. It's a power <laughs> color, absolutely, absolutely. And you brought lots of goodies for show and tell. So we're going to get to that. Again, thank you, thank you for taking time out mm -hmm. of your schedule. Um, I am just so full of energy today. And I really want to start off with what, you know, sort of got you into the business. What was that significant moment, that significant transition point for you that you said, I am going to be an entrepreneur doing just this? Uh, t starting my business was, uh, was an evolution, but mm -hmm. I did reach sort of a significant point Mm -hmm. where I realized there was a whole new industry out there mm -hmm. that uh, which is home staging it's now very much the known paint, but right, at the known. time in 2004 realtors I talked to did not know what it was mm -hmm. I mean a few did most did not mm -hmm. um, I had learned about it when I was out in California and I, I realized that it it was a perfect m m melding of my um, business and um, academic training and mm -hmm. and my um, personal strengths mm -hmm. um, so it was really exciting um, not only one to start a business uh, but to to start really um, to bring a new industry into the Philadelphia region wow. uh, yeah we were either number one or number two in the whole sort of greater Philadelphia area and now there are a lot of stagers here oh, which absolutely. is terrific but we really we did a lot of educating and training along mm. the way and once the realtors got it they they sold us in but there was a real moment where i thought i can do this i okay. really can make this happen and uh, take us back to that moment yeah oh boy um well i st and it, you know i started small i right. started the business mm. in the house like so many people mm. do we mm. now have a 4000 square foot warehouse and i've got you know 11 full-time employees it so but it did start small and I was on every job you know mm. I was the main cook and bottle washer for mm -hmm. a while there um, but I think I, I had the the gut instinct that I needed to you need to s scale as quickly as you can um, it's a very physical job mm -hmm. we're bringing sometimes a whole house load of furniture into an empty home um, so, of course, I wasn't doing that by myself, but I was hiring by the job initially. Um, but but I, I really had a sense right from the start that this was something that I could do, and I think it's following your gut. I, mm. My approach to owning a business is very guttural, and each decision has to be a microcosm of the greater business, you know, mm. to keep yourself on track. Okay. It's like it's like the DNA of the business needs to be in every decision, whether it's a design decision or a business decision, and okay. and that seems to have steered me well. Um, one of my biggest moments was a friend of mine had also who came from California and lives here had heard about staging in California, and was wanting to start the same business simultaneously. And we oh. talked initially about partnership, Ooh. and my gut was. She doesn't have as much fire in her belly. This is she's more of a wow. weekend warrior on this, or a you know I'm a mom first, and mm -hmm. of course I'm being a mother is very important to mm -hmm. me. But I really wanted to start this business and start it in a um, in a big way. And I finally had to go back to her and say I, I'm really uncomfortable because I think our our energy levels are at different places. Wow. And that that. And That's she ended courageous. up being an employee of mine for a long time, mm -hmm. but it was a great decision, and that really taught me that uh, to trust my gut on things, because mm -hmm. we would have, you know, as you know, once you're inveigled as partners, it's very complicated. And this was cleaner, um, and ultimately, she didn't want the the rigor that I was looking for in in a staff person, and mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it was an easier break when mm -hmm. that happened. But mm -hmm. it was, I think that was really my first sort of aha moment that this is my business and I love it and I'm going to do everything it needs. And I, I see that passion. Um, we've known each other for years. You're in a very tactile business. Yes, I, I am. mean, literally, you bought some 
things um, yeah. kind of relate, give us a definition of what staging is mm -hmm. now and relate how what you've brought um, represents what you do for your clients. Sure. Um, actually, these lovely um, fabrics are more, <laughs> more about um, the interior design mm -hmm. um, silo of our business. Okay. Uh, home staging started. We quickly also became full service moving management for mm. clients who needed us. Makes sense. And then within a year, upon request of happy clients, we started an interior design branch as well. We now have three very equal mm -hmm. silos mm -hmm. um, of industry. They often overlap, but not always. Um, design is a tool we use in home staging. Um, it's taking design and demographics and marrying them. Mm. Um, so we're using all these beautiful, beautiful fabrics. This is a Galbraith and Paul fabric. They're a local Philadelphia company oh. whom I adore. All hand blocked here in, in uh, Maniunk, which is pretty exciting. Um, but we use these fabrics as visual cues um, to for the buyer to say this is the lifestyle you're looking for because we're really selling lifestyle we're not selling mm -hmm. bricks and mortar mm -hmm. which of course is what the transactions about but we're mm -hmm. selling dreams this is where you want to raise your kids this is where you will um, feel safe you will have arrived this mm -hmm. is this is what you're striving towards mm -hmm. um, and that's what staging is all about mm -hmm. um, so it's less about or what's the connection between S this kind of staging and staging that people experience when they go to a theater. I mean, what's it's, borrowed or, or uh, it, it actually comes directly from, mm -hmm. you know, the theater and, and really, you know, all of life's the stage, you know, it's... <laughs> I was uh, wondering. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we're setting the stage so people can imagine being in the home. Um, so the first thing we're often doing is pulling things out that are more specific to the seller. We want you to walk into a home and not have any sense how old the seller is, what mm -hmm. their religion, what their political affiliation is, you know, because we want a homogenous backdrop for what the buyer wants and, you know, that they can imagine giving Susie her snack after school at the mm -hmm. kitchen table. So we're staging or decorating for the buyer. And uh, my sellers, you know, if they've been there, many people in this area have been in a big house 20, 30 years and have raised their kids. And I said, you've got to imagine they're going to be the age you were when you probably first bought this house. And act that math almost always works. It's really interesting. <laughs> um, and then I tell them, we're, we're actually trying to appeal to your grown children's, you know, friends, not to you. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and that helps, too, sometimes. The easy stages are when the house is completely empty and we can go in and do soup to nuts. Mm -hmm. The tougher ones are when we have what we call a furnished stage, where it's partially furnished. We've taken away some of their furnishings, some of their collections, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, pre-pack it and then come in and put in what I call our visual cues, you know, mm -hmm. like this, this large graphic. Mm -hmm. These are very popular now. It's very. Mm -hmm. um, Tory Burch in terms oh, yes, of, uh, yes, you know, yes. um, uh, in terms of uh, attire and it's, um, and that's a visual cue that this is a mm -hmm. house for a younger person. Mm -hmm. um, we'll often bring in subtly, we'll bring in brand names, you know, if you're in a empty closet and suddenly you see, a, you know, a Cole Haan or a, uh, you know, expensive pair of shoe box um oh. that helps like oh this is you know this is aspirational so mm. um you know a little bendel's box doesn't hurt mm -hmm. so wow yeah so this is an art a science and and you are an expert you've written a book tell I, us a little yes, bit about the book i wrote a book called home staging that works mm -hmm. and this is for people who um, are not going to hire stagers it gives you it's oh. a it's a how to okay yeah i'm undercutting my own business but people no, needed it so no, you're much supporting. Right, uh, yeah. and we are supporting mm -hmm. it and it's just a lot of great information paint colors what to do in the garden if you only have 10 days before you go on the market. There's all kinds of lists <laughs> oh, wow. and the things to do first and what's important and why. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, it's a very, I, I think it's a very helpful book. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. so anyway, you can get it on Amazon. Oh, totally cool. Yeah. Totally cool. So 
you've done, you've accomplished a lot of significant the, uh, milestones. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about your future, I mean, you talked about staging is part of what helps people look towards the future, their mm -hmm. aspirations. Um, for you and your business, what are your aspirations? Because you've taken it from the kitchen table to 4,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. What's well, we next? actually have exciting news. Um, okay. we, we have three silos now, and we are hopefully today signing a lease on a retail space in Chestnut Hill Wow! Um, for a business we're going to call Tailored Home, which will be a, you know, best in class of everything you need for the house and home. So it's really an embodiment of our interior design. Mm -hmm. um, it will also have a wedding registry. Ooh, which is exciting. very exciting. So it's more about, um, we have, you know, tailored transitions. We help people in transition, and the design really helps people at home. Mm -hmm. And tailored home will be an um, embodiment mm -hmm. of that. So that is our new venture, and we've been working on it diligently all winter. Wow. And uh, hope to roll out this summer. Okay, so it's sort of nine months in the making, and then mm -hmm. it's ready to be birthed. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, I mean, that, that actually almost wraps up our interview. I often ask people, when you focus your energy, what happens? Yeah. And it sounds like when you focus your energy, great things happen. Well, you know, one thing, thank you. One mm -hmm. thing I've learned is you need to delegate. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I, instead of this uh, tailored transitions, I started because I had to. Mm -hmm. you know, from uh, by my bootstraps and from the kitchen table. Um, tailored home, we've really done right. We, you know, been more strategic about our planning. I hired somebody to manage wholesale buying right from the start. She's been on deck since January. So mm -hmm. it's been a much more organized bit of growth, <laughs> which I've had the luxury of doing this time. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm really excited about it. And I think um, like my other three silos of business, they, they um, cross-pollinate each mm -hmm. other, and there's mm -hmm. sort of a synergy there. Um, with this fourth silo, I think it'll be really terrific because a lot more people will know about us. And, oh, uh, exciting. Yeah. Exciting. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, and I'm so glad you shared your, your new venture with us, yeah. your, your next dimension. Thank you. You heard it here yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Well, you know, that's what Significant TV is all about. Um, significant stories from mm -hmm. significant entrepreneurs. Thank you, Star. Oh, thank you, Fran. We really, really appreciate you being here. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, all the great, great work and design. Thank I'm you. Fran McNeil, significant business results coach, and I am featuring today Star Osborne with Taylor Transitions, soon to be Tailored Homes. In a Tailored Home in addition. In yeah. addition. In addition. So thank you very much for watching and continue to watch us as we feature significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. Thank you.